welcome to Super Fun Time. I'm Tanner. I'm Miggy. And we're gonna teach you how to make candy sushi. First step is you want to carefully place fruit roll ups on a mat. For instance, Miggy here will show you how to open, properly open a fruit roll up and place it on a mat. Look for flavor here. Mm. See, as you see, come closer here, real fast. You see, we carefully got three by three square mats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this will be nine. Nine! Nine. Then, as you carefully place it down, you want to make sure their edges are carefully together so when you pick it up, like so, place it down. You want to carefully pressure the pump when it's right. As you pick it up, it will want to look like this. All right. Beautiful. Step number two you want to carefully put the Rice Krispies across the nice fruit roll up square mat so you can put things on it, such as Skittles, cookie dough, and nerds so you can make it into your famous candy sushi. But what about Twizzlers? What about Twizzlers? It's the best ingredient for sushi. Throw it down here, son. Yes, it indeed is one of the best ingredients for candy sushi. Now, now it's time to put hey. the Rice Krispies. Hey, what's going on, man? Now it's time to put the Rice Krispies carefully on the platter, like so. Mm. Don't worry, make sure you sanitize like we did prior. That's what your mama says. And now, you want to put Twizzlers, preferably two, onto the candy sushi. Yummy! Like so, watch. Put one, just kind of like, kind of carefully push it down, and then the second one, right next to it. Mm. Now for the next step, you're going to want to place Skittles and cookie dough. And you want to carefully put them on, it doesn't really matter, randomly distributed across your candy sushi. Like so. So we're going to place them down maybe. Now for the final step before we completely finish the candy sushi, we're going to add the last bit of ingredients, nerds. Waka! Nerds, have you noticed, come closer, we're pretty sure, sure, Making a mess. pretty sure you know they are very loose and vulnerable to go anywhere. So, neatly as you can, put them on so they can't spread everywhere like they have right now. Okay. Now that the candy sushi is complete with the ingredients, come here and we're going to show you how to properly roll it. You want to get a good first layer over it. Next, you want to grab it and you want to get this thing. Keep in mind that stuff will probably roll out. It's like rolling a blunt. <laughs> <laughs> you want to keep rolling it. Wait, wait, like wait. So you hear it. Wait. You can hear the stuff moving. And you just keep rolling it. One last good roll. Look. Carefully packed in your candy sushi roll. Now that's the last step for the candy sushi. You want to properly use a knife. And you want to cut. The candy sushi just directly just takes precision because you do have nerds in here, remember. And Skittles. And boom. Stuff will fall out, but that's how it goes. Look at that. Clean cut, like a sushi roll. Make sure it's still packed and hold it for me, okay? Boom. Look at that. Look at this wonderful masterpiece of art that we got here, what we call our candy sushi. Our candy sushi. Mmm, delicious. <laughs>